Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast, Turkey launches a military operation. Nahijevan was emphasized in conversation with Aliyev Erdogan. Any status within Azerbaijan is unacceptable. The Arabic world will not allow Erdogan to revive the Ottoman Empire. The first Armad center was opened in the area of Talka in Javak. Historical places of Western Armenia, Red Monastery of Nahijevan. Their same residents will fight against the drilling operations on their territory. A week dedicated to Cilician cuisine was held in a city of Hatay in Western Armenia. What ritual religious monuments were built by our ancestors, Hajak Sirekanyan? After the trilateral meeting in Brussels, Aliyev called Erdogan and presented the results. He emphasized that an agreement had been reached on the opening of Zangezur corridor, including an issue of both the railway and the highway. Baku has signed an agreement with Iran on launching a corridor with Nahijevan through Iran. At the same time, Baku insists on Zangezur corridor. The reason for this is the implementation of the relevant paragraph of November 9th statement and the issue of opening land communications with Nahijevan. The problem is broader and is related to extending application of 1921 Moscow Cars Russian Turkish treaties with the extended application. Their maximum legal term has expired, which was the reason for the Turkish Russian campaign in 2020 against Armenia. According to this agreement, Nahijevan is an Armenian autonomy and temporary place under the guardianship of Baku. In turn, the problems of Cars and other Armenian occupied territories remain open to Turkey since the Lausanne Treaty is invalid. In in a strict legal sense. By this treaty, Kars was recognized as the territory of Turkey. This border issue was an opportunity to unite all the problems of Armenia and take strong position, at least on the issues of security, the status of Artsakh, and the return of refugees. The attitude of authorities of Republic of Artsakh to the statement first in various formats about the fate of Republic of Artsakh and the people of Artsakh during negotiations and discussions have been repeatedly expressed by the President and the National Assembly. Let's remember some provisions published by President Aray Karutunyan in December 2021. Full recognition of the rights of Armenians of Artsakh to self-determination is not subject to any concessions. The executive owner of this issue is the problem of Artsakh. The international recognition of the independence of the Republic of Artsakh remains the guideline of authorities. Any status within Azerbaijan is unacceptable. Going back to the past is unacceptable, not only in terms of status but also in demographic terms. The Republic of Artsakh has a problem with restoring its territorial integrity. The authorities of Artsakh built and implement in accordance with the Declaration of Independence of the Republic of Artsakh and the Mother Law, cooperating with all partners. Turkey is a big threat to the region. This was stated by the well-known expert of one of the analytical centers of Egypt, Rami Zahid. We lost a lot during the Ottoman Empire and we don't want the Ottoman Empire to be reborn, he is said. According to him, Turkey is still cooperating with such terrorist structures as Jabhat al-Nusra and Islamic State. He noted that Turkey's involvement in the Syrian crisis in recent years indicates that Ankara wants to return the entire Middle East into its zone of influence. He accused Turkey of committing a crime against various minorities living in Syria. This is certainly a crime and an attempt to change demographics of the region. They are trying to make Turkish the northern part of Syria. Despite the position stated by the Arabic countries on this issue, Turkish expansion in this region is a big threat. At the same time, Turkey's target is not only Syria. The Arab world will never allow Erdogan to create an Ottoman Empire, the analyst said. The Armad Foundation program was implemented in Osni village in partnership with the Javak Assistance Foundation, the Hovnanyan Family Foundation, the Union of Advanced Technology Emphasizers, and with the financial support of philanthropist Razmik Vilikyan, Army Press reports. According to Samvel Mikoyan, executive director of the Assistance to Javak Foundation, the foundation attaches great importance to the development of IT sector. It is for this purpose that in 2018 the Armad Foundation encouraged cooperation with the Union of Advanced Technology Enterprisers and financing of individual benefactors and organizations brought the Armand project to Javak. The purpose of the program is to stimulate the development of technological education in Javak, additional economic activity and create opportunities for work as well as prospects for not leaving the homeland. 
The destroyed Armenian Apostolic Monastery Complex of St. Stepanos Nakhavka was built in a village of Astapad, Babek district, on the left bank of Arax River on top of a rocky hill. The monastery was known by several names, the Monastery of St. Stepanos Nakhavka, Red Monastery, Karataiki Monastery, and Astapad Monastery. It was located on a church of Astapad village in Nakhijevan province of Aspurakan, province in western Armenia. The Monastery of St. Stepanos in Astapad was one of the few monuments that was made measured and presented also in the press theoretical professional literature. Located in the Upper Euphrates Basin, Dersim is most diverse and resource-rich territory of Western Armenia, where new mines are being discovered every day. 145 mining projects are already operating in Dersim, and now the entire 60-kilometer area of Mansuri Mountains have been declared the territory of mines. A similar program is being implemented in the village of Otlubakche, Dersim, which was opposed by the head of the village in a written statement, according to the rumors that have been reached as the construction company will soon come to our village, bringing construction equipment to start drilling again. But we won't let them do it. The population of the village agrees with this decision. Within the framework of the Week of Cilician Cuisine in Hatay, included in the UNESCO Network of Gastronomic Cities, a program was held for the preparation and presentation of the traditional food of Hatay during the period from May 21-27. Various dishes are served in different provinces as part of Cilician Cuisine Week. The guests are mostly satisfied and show great interest in Armenian cuisine. We want to remind you that the districts of Western Armenia, in addition to all the historical and cultural wells, have a rich and diverse cuisine. Khajak Sirekanyan, who studies historical materials, wrote on his Facebook page what kind of sacred monuments were built by our ancestors thousands of years ago. Megalithic structures, these are ancient memorial religious buildings made of large-sized stones with a rough surface. Megalithic structures belong mainly to Analytic and Bronze Age and are widely distributed around the world. It is also widely spread in different parts of Armenian highlands. There are many megalithic monuments in Armenia and as a result of excavation, the are more of them. We will note some of these monuments. Krom Lake, a type of megalithic structure of Neolithic and Malo Bronze Age. Vishapakar, a megalithic monument. Dolmen, an ancient tomb structure. Menhir, a monument ancient times dedicated to the memory of our ancestors. Now, musical part Armenian folk song. Varujan Markarian, Akhmaraljan. Oh, The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.